Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, July the 22nd. It is 81 degrees inside the car. I've got the windows rolled up. And I literally am driving home from work. I'm almost, almost home. And someone out there is on my heart. Let me explain what happens. I will just be going on about my business and I will start to feel, uh, let's just say I'll start to feel an emotion of some sort, whether that is an emotion of fear, whether that is an, uh, an emotion of doubt, even uh, losing a little bit of faith, no matter what that feeling is. This is what I think. When I'm feeling it, someone else is feeling it. You may think I'm nutty, but that's what I really think. And so, I had these thoughts, you know, I, I, I need to start writing some of these things down. I'm trying to make a right on red. So, there's a lot of morning traffic because it's almost 8, so whoever's got to be to work at 8 o'clock is hustling. 8 a.m. this morning. Whoever has to do that is out here right now. So getting back to the emotions. Just got to be careful here. Okay. Um, I'm sorry for the, the uh, quiet in between like I say, and some of my words come from what you're feeling. Yes, some of my videos come from you. Yes, they do. They come from you. I have been this way since I was a child. I've never, I've never understood it. And please pardon me, I'm extremely tired. <laughs> you know, even though it was just eight hours today. And so, I was brought to this thought about the devil meant it for evil, but God can make it good. God can use your pain to give you power. Your pain can be used for power. And so the, some of the pain that you're experiencing right now, that's nothing. That's just a little something. And we're coming to a cataclysmic close to this planet. I don't know how long that's going to take. Now, this is just my humble opinion in what I believe in, okay? And so, none of, none of your pain, none of what you lost, none of your awful experiences is going to be wasted. That's going to be turned around and used for someone's good. Yes, it is. Someone is going to need you. Someone is going to need you. They're going to have to be able to relate to you. And so if you have had an awful experience and you are now walking around this planet with joy and you're smiling and everything like that, and you're going to look over at someone else that is in pain and you're going to recognize that expression because that was you. But that was you, you know. If I used to run around chasing men around and I used to dress a certain set way and now I'm not, by the grace of Almighty God and His salvation, I'm not that anymore. And here comes Boo Boo, you know, and she looks like what I used to look like but she's not happy and she doesn't want to be in that situation anymore. But she just doesn't know how to get out of that situation. 
you are gonna be the one that can go over to her or to him, men too. And you're gonna take that evil and make it good. God is very wise. It's the living word. His words are alive. Uh, you can have, let's just give a, a, an example of 20 people all over this planet simultaneously praying for something. And they're praying for different things. And they're going to open up the living word. It's alive. And that scripture that is bringing them comfort each individually, it's the same scripture. It's the same scripture. God is uh, an expert at custom catering, custom catering your relief, your blessing, your breakthrough. And he can do it for 20 different individuals all around the world at the same time with the same scripture. How brilliant is he? How wonderful is our God? Praise the Most High. And uh, I, I, I wasn't going to bring it, but something said, bring your camera with you. I was guarding my bag like a hawk, <laughs> you know. But yes. And, and, and you don't understand, sometimes for me to get from the car to the time clock, from the time clock to my destination in my little work area, from my work area to make it to lunch, it can be a challenge because of all, at times, the different personalities that I see, the different things that I hear, it can be a challenge. And sometimes I literally talk aloud, thank you, Lord. I'm so glad that you're walking with me down this aisle. Thank you, Lord. I'm so glad that you're guiding me to my car. Someone's gonna need that right there. Thank you, Lord. You helped me make it through the first 10 minutes of my shift. You helped me make it pass for someone else, that cubicle of that, uh, of that employee that is gossiping about me. That employee who I am doing part of her work and she or he is getting the credit. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Right there, right there. I, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but sometimes, you know, it takes me a hundred sentences and then all of a sudden here comes one and it's like, boom, that's right there, right there. You know, you've hit the nail on the head, so to speak. So I want you to understand something. Your pain, your sin, your past sin, let's clarify. All of that pain, that pain is going to be used for power. They're going to turn your pain, your former pain, Maybe your present pain. Eventually, that pain is going to be used for power. I, my sweet babies, I do not want you to think that you are going through that hell at your job, in your family, no matter what, whatever little uh, box you want to put it put that in your little box of, of your frustration whatever that is your personal situation this may be just for one person your pain is going to be used for great power you're going to turn around either you just got out of it you've been out of it for years you're going to turn around and you're going to help someone else with that. We're not on this planet just to occupy our houses, our cars, our jobs, uh, to fill our faces with food and the devil's dainties. You know, we, we are, we are here on a mission for those of you that are saved by the grace of almighty God. Um, yes, yes, indeed. So I just wanted to come in here 
and um, and 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 um, express that to you. Okay. Y'all, yeah, pardon me. I I am extremely tired. I I would like to thank each and every one of you for your kind hearts for watching this video. When you feel as though you know the Holy Spirit is leading you to that son or daughter and not just your related son or daughter or auntie or uncle or mom or dad or whatever I remember my mother having horrible experiences you know horrible experiences experiences and I told you uh, some of you don't know she uh, when I was a kid she used to prostitute herself you know and 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 I'll tell you what I wish that I would have had the knowledge that I have now. The knowledge that I have now from him. I am a big fat zero or zero without him. If any words that come out of my mouth make any sense and bless anyone in any fashion, to God be the glory. To Almighty God be the glory because I'm this without him and back to my mom for a brief moment if I had any of this wisdom if it's if it is wisdom if it's help let's simplify it if it's help you know when I would hear her crying with her door partway cracked open you know Raising on an autistic son and raising um, three daughters alone with all that in her head. You know, she they gave her medication for depression and stuff like that. It was more than depression. It was guilt. It was shame. It was all these things balled up into one, you know. So, there's me and my example of using my pain for power extending my pain for power in that example I told you of the worker at my old job that was thinking about committing suicide herself and God prompted me I had no idea to talk to her pain for power where I could talk about my mom and the big hole she would leave on this planet pain going to be turned for power. Oh yes indeed, there is nothing like a former filthy, guilty sinner. A former uh, woman that used to run around. A former uh, person that would uh, steal, uh, shoplift, whatever it is. Even something that happened within your home with a relative even that something that happened in your home with a sibling auntie uncle whoever you can take that pain oh dear heart you can take that pain and um, use it for power help the next one along so they don't get too deep don't let them fall too deep down that rabbit hole okay real talk my friends real talk I love you so very much and uh, I want to thank you for watching. You're good. You're clean. You're wonderful. You're wonderful right where you stand. Take comfort in the Father knew exactly what we were, but he extended himself to, to us anyway. Love you. Thank you for watching. Bye.